Apple to reportedly receive 48 MP sensors from Samsung for the iPhone 18 onwards, breaking Sony's monopoly, dedicated team formed. Sony has exclusively provided Apple with various cameras for its handsets, and with the iPhone 16 lineup, the situation is expected to remain unchanged. In fact, the company's top-end model, the iPhone 16 Pro Max, will reportedly be treated to Sony's new 48 MP Xmer MX903 with double-layer transistors and a slightly bigger sensor size compared to the MX803 found inside the iPhone 15 Pro Max. However, the Japanese firm could have its monopoly compromised in 2026, as an analyst believes that Samsung will enter Apple's optics supply chain and start delivering cameras for the iPhone 18 in 2026. Analyst does not confirm if Samsung will provide 48 MP cameras to Apple's entire iPhone 18 family or to some models. Similar to how Samsung has carved a symbiotic relationship with Apple on the display side of things, TF International Securities analyst Ming Kai Kuo published a brief post on X, stating that the Korean manufacturer will extend its reach to the sensors category too. The company is expected to begin supplying 48 MP cameras with a 1/2.6 inch sensor size, breaking Sony's iron grip on the market. As smartphone component costs start slowly creeping upwards, companies like Apple must figure out how to bring this expenditure down considerably or risk a sales slump by pricing its products too high. Samsung will reportedly shift to MediaTek's Dimensity 9300 Plus for its Galaxy Tab S10 series to gain better bargaining power over Qualcomm. One way is to add more companies to its supply chain, and with Samsung entering the fold, Apple will have a bigger bargaining room when negotiating with Sony. Kuo does not go into detail regarding Samsung's exact plans, so we cannot comment on whether the entire iPhone 18 lineup will feature cameras from the Korean giant or just a couple of models. It is also unclear which particular camera the company would mass produce, is it the primary sensor, the ultra eye angle unit, or the telephoto one? However, we do know that Samsung is reported to have formed a dedicated team to bring its goal to fruition. It is likely that Apple will commence a pilot run with Samsung to ensure that the latter can deliver sensors of the same quality as Sony. What the Cupertino firm values most is receiving high-quality components in steady shipments, and it has been known to either cut ties with manufacturers who fail to satisfy its stringent quality requirements or are just kept as a backup supplier. In any case, Samsung has the perfect opportunity to take Sony's market share in a couple of years, and if it is successful in its plans, we will update our readers, so stay tuned.